On today's show, it is Clark Atlanta University up for the grading, and I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm going to be very honest, I'm going to give some of my thoughts on some things that I just recognized as I was going through this whole process. So all this and more coming up next on Luke's Band Report. <music> Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or whenever you're watching me right now. My name is Jay Luke, the owner and operator of the Passion is Network. I'm also the host of Talk That Talk. You can find any of our merchandise at www.realtalkthattalk.com. All right, so a uh, couple of things just to get out of the way. Uh, mass band season is, I think it's over. I don't think there's anything else coming up because I know that they had the the big thing in New Orleans and that usually culminates towards the end of the season. But I do want to be able to st sit out here and actually say this, it's always good to be able to see young men, young people, high schoolers, whatever, participating in mass band. So shout out to everybody who participated. Again, like I ended on saying, I was leaning more towards Georgia Mass Band, uh, still looking through and coming through some of the things, but that's kind of where I'm gonna leave that. Also, uh, big, 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 big uh, support and love to the people who are in my hometown, my home city of Houston right now. Uh, hurricane just came through, a lot of flooding. As a native of Houston, flooding is not something that's abnormal to the city, but I do wanna be able to sit here and say, uh, the prayers are going out to you all. And because of that, I know that Prairie View was supposed to be here in Dallas uh, doing the HBCU MLB thing. And from what I've seen, uh, that performance for them has been canceled, uh, but still show up guys, still show up for the HBCU experience and so on and so forth. But I just wanted to give those big quick notes out before I get started on Clark Atlanta. So I watched and combed through all the video that was available for Clark Atlanta and it's time to give my thoughts uh, going down the list and we're gonna start with drills, the Clark Atlanta Marching Panthers. Um, I'm gonna be very honest, smaller program, if I'm not mistaken, they, have a, either interim director or a new head director that was named. I just want to make sure that I get it correct. Uh, but either way, um, first thing I, I do want to say is that when it comes to the drills, um, they're really playing it safe uh, and, and as they should, right? Smaller program. So you don't want to do too many things that are going to expose players, so on and so forth, uh, confuse players uh, or, or members, anything of that nature. And so that's one of the things that I really didn't notice is just the fact that they played it safe. Uh, a couple of times they just went to the CAU. The phone is ringing. My phone just went off. I was supposed to turn that off. Oh well, a couple of times they went to the CAU uh, logo, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, you know, and, and you know, a few other things that, I, like I said, played it safe, kept it really close in a box, uh, some box formations coming out and then going straight to um, their concert formation. So, I mean, like I said, smaller program and in that you definitely want to play it safe. So I didn't think there was anything wrong with that. Um, from a, a, I mean, energy perspective, as I always say, smaller group means bigger energy because smaller groups typically have something to prove. And so energy is on a thousand. I'm just going to say that off the rip. Energy for Clark Atlanta band program is definitely on a thousand. And I like their energy. I think their energy is great. Um, they have one flag. Um, yeah, it's just one flag. It's, it's not really much I can say about the young lady. I, I think they were doing a, a, a good job for what they had. Um, and so, you just out there solo dolo. One. Kudos to you. That was it. That's all I got. And then their dance line. Their dance line, uh, I believe it's called the Essence Dance Line. I wanna make sure I say that right. If I did, Please don't fire me up too bad in the comment section. But I will say this, I like them. And what I'm starting to realize as I'm going through this whole process is, a lot of dance lines, for the most part, aren't just terrible. Like, they're, they're not bad. There may be a few tweaks here or there, some may be more raunchier than others. But for the most part, 
most dance lines are doing a really good job. And there seems to be a cohesiveness around what you all do and how you all do it. And so for them, I think they're doing really well. Now, here we go. Here's a, it's gonna be a lot that I'm gonna say in this one. And here we go. I don't think the band compliments the dancers. I think the dancers are really well. I think the dancers do a really good job. And I like their choices of uniforms, by the way. Not too revealing, it's all for me. Love it. But I will say, from a sound standpoint, I really think this loud thing is really getting us in a chokehold, and it's actually not doing too well for smaller band programs, specifically ones that have odd instrumentation. So if you only have, and from what I could see, two or three euphoniums, you know, stack of trumpets, maybe, you know, 10 trombones, which 10 trombones aren't really that bad. But if you have a odd instrumentation, I really don't see the, the need to try to overplay. In my opinion, you should try to be working to get the, the best sound possible. And sometimes when I was listening to you all, it seems like the overplay was the, the, the goal, which caused intonation problems across the board. And again, new director, and I understand that you were just coming in, you're trying to do your own thing. So I don't really fault the directors, especially when you're, you're starting out and you're trying to build something from the ground up. But I did notice it, intonation problems everywhere from the trumpet section a lot in the trumpet section the mellophone section sometimes trying to play too high or playing certain things it just kind of gets out of character and so much so to the point it becomes it becomes distracting to even watch and even listen to because of the fact that the intonation and the balance is just so everywhere that's just that's what i heard and then we also translate that into the stands because the same thing was happening in the stands. From a sound perspective, in the stands, it's just intonation, balance and blend. It just does not, it just was not working. And I'm not even going to say that you don't tune. I would probably assume that you do tune. I'm probably going to assume that you all do warm ups and all of those things that create or are supposed to create a great sound. But what I will say is if you're overplaying, now you're blowing the instrument into a different tuning pitch or a different tuning range. And so if you're tuning at A440, but then you're trying to blow your face off, then what you're going to do is you're probably going to blow yourself sharp. So, and then if you're not, working to match the person next to you. So if you have two euphonium players and euphonium player A is trying to go for the gusto and euphonium player B is trying to go for the gusto, but euphonium A or play A is bigger in sound, there's gonna be intonation balance, problem there. Also equipment that you use, which that I don't necessarily fault you all that's not necessarily something I'm gonna give you, gonna say that's your issue. But I will say that the intonation and the balance and the blend was something that just completely was difficult for me to be able to get through and listen to because that's the thing that kept stacking, sticking out like a sore thumb. It wasn't the drills, the drills weren't an issue. There were no really big problems in the drill. It wasn't the one flag, she was out there by her lonesome trying to do her thing. And it wasn't the dancers. It was really just that. Even in the stands, I think the dancers do a great job in stands. Kudos to you all. But that is the thing that really, really, really just was like, I don't know if I can get through this. Yes, I can. So moving forward, before I give you the grade, I do want to say this. It was almost disappointing and disheartening to see that at Clark Atlanta University. And honestly, I don't blame the directors. I really don't. I actually look at this as a university problem. Why? Because there's no way with all the amazing high schools that you have in the state of Georgia, in the city of Atlanta, that that program does not have the bodies within that program that reflect the schools that are in that city and in that state. To me, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, what does that look like from a financial perspective? 
are the is the university supplying the finances that are needed in order for those kids and and that that staff to be able to recruit and to me it just shows that the university doesn't truly care about the band program and it makes the directors have to work harder so what ends up happening you end up getting kids who this may have been a last resort or my mama went here so i gotta go here or I ain't get the I didn't get to go where I wanted to go, so man, I'ma just go here. Is that fair to the directors? And even is that fair to that program? I don't even think so. I don't think that's fair at all. To me, that just raises a really huge problem in my personal view. There's way too many schools, high schools with credible band programs in the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia to where that program shouldn't be like, like that. That program should be the face of what Atlanta bands look like. Specifically since Mo B doesn't exist anymore. Once Mo B came out of, came out of the picture, Clark Atlanta should have been the one that rose up. And for some reason, why? I don't know. That's not what we got. So from a total package perspective, I'm going to be very, be very honest. Program is a D minus. Borderline F. And again, to me, I don't even look at that as a band director problem because you do have a new band director. Pause for a second. I want to give a big shout out to Clark Atlanta Marching Band because if I'm not mistaken, they got this rap snacks thing going on. I saw that because I was in Atlanta uh, when, uh, what was it? The consortium, I want to say maybe about a year or two ago when they did the rap snacks, rap snacks thing. I can't say that. It's my Texas tongue. Sorry. But uh, so shout out to you guys for that. But again, university, when you want the when you want to represent your university, the first thing that you're going to go out and send is your band. So in what way are you supporting that band to make sure that that band is going to make sure that they do and look the way that you want them to look? Very, very big congratulations on the new uniforms, but we got to do more. We got to invest more. We got to make sure that you can be able to grab these kids from these other schools. And I don't necessarily put that on a director. Again, I don't know what the budget looks like, but from the outside looking in, that seems to be the problem. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. This is going to be a short one because for, for this particular situation, it was really frustrating to sit through and watch because I see a program that has multiple cases of potential not being utilized to its full potential. And again, I don't blame that directly on the director. I do blame that on the powers that be who can support them with the finances that they need. So you guys tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Am I wrong in my perception of what I'm saying? Is it the director's fault? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. But you guys tell me inside of the comment section. Also, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I look forward to reading every single one of, single one of your comments. Also, coming up next on the block is going to be Delaware State. Now, I'll be honest, that may be a short one, too, because Dell State doesn't have a lot of stuff out there. So maybe a short one, too. We'll see. But other than that, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you for listening. And I will see you all on next week.